Hello everybody, welcome back to the I'm All Abroad YouTube channel. I am doing a trying out the tech video again. I know I do them a lot on this channel, but there is a reason why. I'm buying a lot of tech lately, an extremely lot of tech lately. And there's only one way to really test it if I'm going to use it for YouTube, and that is to upload stuff to YouTube. Um, I can record stuff and do stuff with it, and it looks and sounds okay to me, but as soon as it touches a YouTube platform, it goes a bit crazy so uh, the only way I can do it is literally while I am learning is to upload these testing videos testing tech videos all the time to see what works what doesn't what's good what's bad and uh, hopefully get some feedback from you as well now I'm out with the 360 degree camera again you all know I've purchased that because I did a testing the tech video about this but I don't know if I'm happy with the sound and video quality that YouTube is uh, is eventually putting out to you good people so today what I'm doing it's it's a pretty windy day out here today the weather is overcast and then it's sunny then it's cloudy so it's a bit all over the place and that's what I want to do the test about I want to see what the audio is really like with all of this wind and everything that's going on I want to upload it then in different encoders to see is this encoder better quality or is this encoder better quality I also want to test editing the footage to see how much quality is lost and I also want to test, it's a big test today, I also want to test uh, audio uh, quality and difference from the camera to another bit of new tech I bought which is uh, this here, the Philips Voice Tracer uh, where I'm recording my voice at the moment so I'll upload this video most probably in one long video I hope. Uh, that will have some audio from the camera on it and some audio from the voice tracer on it. And I'm just trying to do my jacket with one hand, it's very difficult. Only because it's kind of cold. It, it's like weird weather we're having in Australia. Well, especially my side of Australia this year, it's November. And in November, we're usually getting really hot. But uh, we've had an awful lot of rain this year. Not that that's a bad thing, but... Um, we had we, we broke all the records of November on the very first day of November. More rain than we've ever had, which is just uh, just crazy, isn't it? And then ever since then, it just literally hasn't stopped raining. So if you are watching this, thinking, oh well, hang on, how long ago did he film this? It's all cloudy in the sky, and it's supposed to be uh, summer in Australia. No, we're just having a really really unusual summer or beginning of summer. But that's okay. Now, I, I've got to say, I've never been down here before. I don't know if I'm allowed to, and I'm a bit concerned about snakes. So uh, I'll just pick up a rock, not to physically throw at the snake if we do see one, but just to um, throw on the ground or something to scare them off if there is one. Gosh. When I was younger, it didn't bother me. I used to walk through grass and that like that. But as, as I'm now in my... 20s or 30s or 40s or whatever I'll let you figure that out I get really paranoid now of things like uh, snakes and I don't know maybe it's because uh, there's a lot more stuff on the media than, than what there was when we grew up a lot of tourists for some reason now seem to get uh, attacked and bitten by snakes and that's something I, I don't want to happen oh, it looks like it's a dead end anyway Oh, there's a freight train. You won't be able to see that, unfortunately, but there is a freight train happening there. All right, let's go back the other way. This is a good test for the camera as well. I don't know if it physically turns you or, uh, or, or if you're still seeing the image from the same direction. Maybe I need to move the camera to get rid of that sun. It's a whole new learning thing. They're going with the 360 camera. It doesn't matter where you point it at because it's going to film everything. Yes, that's true. But uh, you've got to think about the sun. The sun is the worst enemy for a 360 degree camera because if it shines directly on the lens, it's, uh, it's going to very well be noticeable. I know you're going to see the sun anyway if you scroll around, but you have to kind of hold the 360 cameras in a certain direction so that the sun hits like the side of the camera. So it still records the sun, but it's not going directly into the sensor. Okay, I'll put my rocks down now. 
I'm assuming this lake here had something to do with the with the telecommunication tower that's here, I'm guessing. Otherwise, why would it be fenced off? Lots of uh, ducks in there enjoying their time. So this won't be a long video because you're most probably going to see the same footage looped over and over again and each time it's going to be uh, in different quality and standard. So if you do watch it all, I'll have, I, I'll try and have subtitles uh, at the bottom, maybe title screens to say this is clip one, this is clip two, this is clip three, this is what I'm planning to do. Uh, so do let me know which you think is the best video quality or if they're all the same or if the sound quality is different or if it's all the same. Because um, in my eyes, everything looks the same. It's a pretty cool log. It's a very good log. Lots of firewood here. You know how to collect firewood. At certain times of the year, you're not allowed to light a fire because we have fire restrictions and fire bans. But um, generally speaking, if you go camping and that, you can have a little fire. As long as you're clever about it, don't go lighting a fire in there, of course, for your barbecue. Find a nice little clear area, light a little fire, cook your food on it. And of course fire keeps the snakes away as well, so that's uh, that's another positive. Uh, I want to get in that path. How do I get to that path? Can I get to that path? Let's go to this path. The path around here looks a bit more exciting than the path I was going to take you down. You see the Australian bush isn't anything exciting, is it? It's not the most beautiful bushland of the, that the world has to offer. Obviously to do with our climate. And I did mention this on a video ages and ages ago when we were walking through the bush, but I'll mention it again. You can see it's not very high. The canopy's not very high of the, the bush or the forest that we have uh, in Australia. I mean, there's certain places where there is height to it, depending on if it's a pine plantation or whatever. But generally speaking, bushland in Australia is very low. So if you are gonna go out and explore in it, especially in the summer months if you're a tourist, uh, wear a hat and take lots of water with you. We, we have a lot of problems when tourists are allowed in the country of them getting lost in the outback. That's not the problem. The problem is they, they're not prepared for the, the lack of shelter and, and shade and, uh, and, and they don't take enough water with them. So take water with you, is what I'm saying. And a hat. And that brings us to the end of this little 360 degree test. As I say, I'm going to edit it in, in like all sorts of different ways now, upload it in one video file and see which is the best, which is not, which is good, which is bad, at which point we'll start filming in, uh, in 360. Wherever you are in this big, wide, wonderful world of ours, leave a comment, let us know what you think. Have a good day and see you all again very soon.